Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is the second day here. We're finishing up the handles. So if, uh, if y'all remember, which of course you do, it's on film. <laughs> but right now I got the um, end of the uh, handles that actually is towards the blades. I got that all uh, symmetrical, finished up. Um, I did do a little ch uh, design change. I added black and hunter orange uh, G10 space material because I kind of wanted to give it just a little bit of an extra kick, if you will. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go from 60 grit to 120 to 220 grit to finish up these. So once the handles get glued on, then I ain't gotta worry about the fronts and scratching up my blade. So, all right, let's get after it. All right, so now that I just got done with the 220 grit, all right, now the fronts are all good, and if you can see, they look pretty effing sweet. Um, so now we're gonna take this apart. Let me move all of my stuff out the way real quick, lot. I'm telling you, one of these days I'm gonna be prepared to 100%, but until then, you're gonna put up with my shenanigans. I'm take some wax paper here, put this on the work surface, and now my six-year-old the other day asked me, why do I have a wooden top with my metal frame? And it's a really simple reason why I did that. And I told her, I said, because if this top gets too messed up from like drilling holes for mountain stuff to it, epoxy, whatever the case it is, I told her, I said, all I gotta do is unscrew it, flip it over, use that side. And then I also got a bottom. So that way I've got four uses out of this top. And then once all that is completely done, throw it away or turn it to scrap wood or whatever case it is. Um, and then I can just put a new top on there. So that way it's a really easy, simple method of not wasting too much money. So now um, I use a lot of, I, like I, I prefer to use DEF CON, uh, five minute or 20 ton epoxy, but I got this JB Well from a local box store. Uh, works really well. I really haven't had any complaints with uh, any type of the five minute or 20 ton epoxy that I use. So, you know, pretty nice. Just gonna open it up. And for this, for those that do not know, with the epoxies, you've got a part A, resin, part B, hardener. You need, uh, with this stuff, it's equal, uh, one to one ratio. Um, and you can measure it. I, I just eyeball it. I've been doing this long enough to where I just eyeball things. Um, I've never been really the one to measure too much unless like, you know, I'm baking a cake or something like that. But when it comes to this stuff, there's nothing wrong with eyeballing it. You ain't got to get all te technical and fancy about it, you know. So what I like to do, get everything ready, everything set up. Go ahead and cut your top about halfway to where this little ridge line is right here. So that way you can put your cap back on. But you got enough for your epoxy to come out. Okay. So you get everything ready. And this is where I take the little protective off because it just it's a little bit easier. You ain't got to worry about epoxy sticking to it because when you get done, you're going to clean up the epoxy out of the front here. So you ain't got to worry about it afterwards. So grab you some gloves. Any type of gloves will do like this. Um, whichever one is your personal preference or ones you're not allergic to because epoxy is uh, kind of a pain. It does suck to get onto your skin if you uh, don't have some acetone to clean it up. So I like to get everything set up, side B, side A, make sure where it's facing. I flip those upside down. I got my pins ready, right? Um, take some, it's cool as me. Take some shop towels here with your acetone. Just do a quick rub down and we're still dropping things. 
And what's that uh, little, little TikTok thing? Wipe it off, wipe it off. Just kidding, we're not doing that here. <laughs> Just do a quick little wipe down, get any of the excess glue, marker. And I forgot to turn my phone on silent. <laughs> All right, get your popsicle stick ready. Get your clamps all ready too. You wanna make sure you get that all nice and set. I got my big clamps ready, my spring clamps ready. So once you take the little, little uh, seal off of there, and then like I said, I like to just eyeball it. And about, damn fall, damn fall. <laughs> all right, about yay much. Then I like to, ooh, I need to put, I need to put a little bit of uh, black pearl in here. This is a little epoxy pigment. Ooh, way too much. Put a little black pearl in there. This will help hide the yellow epoxy. And also too, if you got any imperfections in your blade or your handle, it gives it a nicer look than that yellow-ish epoxy. Because this epoxy doesn't exactly dry clear. So, you wanna mix it thoroughly, about 15, 30 seconds. You ain't gotta go overboard with it, because it's five minutes, so we only got five minutes of, of working time. Or I like to call it play time. This is probably actually a little bit too much epoxy. But it's also nice too, I'd rather have more than not enough. Epoxy isn't necessarily expensive. So, then you just throw a nice layer. A nice layer on that. Throw a nice layer on your handle. And then you just set this down on top of that. You take your pins, take your end, dip it in your epoxy. Find that hole. Now I understand the fellas, sometimes it's hard to find a hole, but we'll get her done. <laughs> Shove it in that hole and the phone just keeps going. All right, now what I like to do, put it up on this side of the handle. And take it. And you ain't gotta put, you ain't gotta have it very, very thick. Just a nice layer. Cause you're gonna have a little bit of squeeze out once we put the clamps on there. But this also will help ensure a nice full seal all the way around. Push your pins through. And this is what I mean by having stick out. Because I did do a, a, a design change, but I still got enough stick out to cover. Then I'll put this here and I'll take one glove off. And I go ahead and take my big clamp, my big F clamp, and uh, put it about right here. And what I like to do is bring that down, take my other F clamp and put it in between the first and second pin. And like I said, you want squeeze out, but you don't want to squeeze out too much. So there's a fine line. Then you take your little, little cl uh, spring clamps and you just go around. All right, I think we got enough clamps now. Then you take that rag that you already had some acetone on. You can take Q-tips, depends on how meticulous you want to get with things. You like that word? Big word. <laughs> and then this is where you just want to clean up the epoxy up off of, off of the uh, front of the scales next to your blade. Because afterwards, it's, uh, it's a little little difficult and you run the chance of scratching your blade. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that we got this handles all glued up, 
Now it's time to grind it. All right, now that I got the majority done on the belt, I'm just gonna go to good old hand sand, right? Start breaking off these here corners, getting everything sanded up with just some sandpaper. All right, so now that I got last little bit, I'm up to the 220 grit. Just finishing up this here top, going over any sides that I need to go. Make sure, I like to keep my back a little, little flat with that curve so I don't chamfer the edges of my back here. Just do a nice little flick down. And that's it, she's good to go. All right, so now I got a little linseed oil. I love to put this finish on pretty much all of my uh, wood handles. Um, you can use uh, teak oil, you can use mineral oil. Uh, I prefer the boiled linseed oil. So that's what I have here in this water bottle. So before. Bam. <laughs> now, I don't know how many wood lovers I have out there, but that is just stunning. Just amazing the grain structure in there. So now that I got that all finished, like man, copper pins, hunter orange with the black G10. That is just <laughs> breathtaking. All right, so I got my work sharp by Ken Onion. Um, this is a awesome little belt sharpener here. I've been using my one by 30 or my two by 72, but I, I come to find out this has like the best um, edge that it puts on a blade. Uh, I have it set up for the regular like uh, hunting knives, pocket knives, stuff of like that. It also has a, a one for your scissors um, and then it has another one that's more for your kitchen knives, your big chef's knives or whatever the case is. So this is really method. Uh, I put the tape on here because otherwise it will scratch up your blades. Uh, I prefer to have it scratchless when I bring it to a customer versus all scratched up. I let them do the scratching method. Uh, but really simple, I'll bring it down and I'll do about 10 strokes on each side and then take my little homemade little board with a piece of leather to strop it and knock off that burr because when you're sharpening you, you, you'll, you'll create a burr and it could be very sharp but if you have that burr on there it will act dull. So you just knock off that burr and then you're good to go. Ready? Woo! All right, ladies and gentlemen, I wanna thank y'all so much for following along. For those that has, this ends part two of forging a hunting knife. I, as you see, I got the blade all finished. I got Bocati scales with copper pins, hunter orange, black G10 spacers with a nice belt satin finish. This turned out really great, it was a beautiful project. Now remember, if y'all would like to enter to win this knife, it's really simple, just go to my Instagram at duns underscore forge.com. I'll have the link in the description below. Uh, go to the post, like, follow, tag three people, that will get you entry. For every $25 you spend, on, uh, spend at my website at dunsforge.com, that will give you another entry. 20% uh, of the proceeds by November 6th will be going to the Semper Fi Fund, so if you are a veteran, veteran family, if you want to help support veterans, Super Fight Fund is a, is a great veteran organization that helps with disabled veterans, uh, PTSD veterans. It helps get veterans back on their feet, into skills, into a job. It's a really great organization. So uh, remember, follow me, like, subscribe, hit that bell icon to receive further videos. Until then, enjoy.